Welcome to this first episode where we're going to talk about whatever comes to mind, honestly. I mean, I run an eBay store where I sell Warhammer miniatures. I used to play Warhammer at one point, and then 7th edition, 8th edition came through and kind of fucked that all up. And 9th edition, don't even get me fucking started on 9th edition. So yeah, my name is AJ. I run the Celestial Tacos eBay store. Where we have all kinds of uh, awesome secondhand miniatures. If you're looking for that one model you can't find, or you're looking for that bit off that sprue, but you don't want to pay for the whole fucking box, check me out. I'm sure I have one somewhere. I'll cut you a deal on it. No worries. I got into Warhammer back in 5th edition. Uh, the Salt on Black Reach box set, the Orcs, Space Marines, all that stuff, man. It looked really cool. I get the box home and then open it up and go, uh, there's fucking plastic models in here. I was just expecting to be able to play a game right out the box like a board game. Didn't happen, but you know what? I'm down with this. A new hobby, something else to sink my little bit of cash into. So, you know, I put the models together, I get the paint, and I paint them, make them look all, well, crappy, because I ain't no good at painting. Not really big into painting, we'll get more of that later. Over the years, I've found that it's just a lot easier to buy pre-painted models, as long as they look decent. You know, you don't want to buy some crap ass thing off ebay and hope that it looks good shit's expensive you gotta represent your army on the table you want to make sure it's painted the way you want and i play space wolves and i play thousand suns great history right there so boom you're automatically making some awesome stories just playing your own fucking shit but i also have an ebay store so you know this brings an opportunity to look at all kinds of different armies all kinds of different models i just i buy a bunch of them from other people and I part them out and I sell them back so other people can take advantage of the the you know the models that the, that are there it's gonna be a full uncut rant because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this I just know I want to sit here and talk and maybe put some pretty pictures up cue the pretty picture and then I'll put it up on YouTube and you guys can just you know watch it don't watch it click that like button subscribe and tell me what do you think am I insane do you agree with me is there a a little bit of merit to my thoughts, or should I just shut the fuck up and go back to my boring 9 to 5 job? <laughs> I don't want to do that, believe me. So back to the eBay store things. The topic for this one, I guess, would be how my eBay store works, or why I have an eBay store, you know, some shit like that. Well, first of all, it does help pay the bills a little bit. You know, it's, it's a little bit of generation of money, a little bit of uh, income, you know, and it has merit with the hobbies i enjoy doing i sell warhammer 40k stuff i sell some star wars action figures star wars is what got me into the store but now i'm more into the warhammer part of it because it makes more money and the models do sell pretty fucking well so my store setup it's all online so it's not like i need a storefront for people to walk into and check my shit out i just have cabinets and uh, drawers and all kinds of different little organizers that I keep everything in. Everything's numbered, inventoried. I keep a running inventory log and a notebook just so I can keep track of where shit is because I have over a thousand listings at this point. It's, it's a lot of shit to keep track of. By the time you get done organizing, listing, photographing, putting shit up, selling it, shipping it out the door, you make a couple bucks on everything. So it's, you know, something to keep keep the store going, keep the, the income going. Enough to live off of? Eh. I mean, I could, could manage to live off the little bit of money I get. That was up until probably last year, whenever our dear administration in the fucking country of the United States government decided they were going to start taxing every dollar you make online. I'm not going to get very political in this. This is not just this is just my rant. I'm not really trying to push my views on anybody, but it just really fucked me over to have to file this year for my ebay store never had to do it before it was weird and i ended up breaking even so i can't really complain but being in the warhammer hobby from fifth edition on i accumulated a couple extra models here and there oh okay let's not fucking front on that one it's probably a huge pile of shame you're probably looking at one right now if you're in the warhammer i feel you no worries so like what can i do with this stuff i could just give it away i could try to sell it to the people at the local game store but most of those guys already have their own shit or they don't want to spend money on extra stuff they don't need so that's cool let's broaden the market so let's look into selling stuff online my best friend got me 
into the eBay thing. He was selling Star Wars action figures, and he was making a feel, fairly decent living off of it. So I figured I'd give my give my uh, little own store a little shot there. Then fast forward a couple of years, doing fairly decent. The store's keeping itself going, only putting a couple hundred bucks a month into it just to keep it going. <laughs> but then the Warhammer stuff starts to pile up. Like, okay, so I'm going to start flipping this stuff. I just put up full kits, put up the models I don't care about. I'll paint a model or two, put that up, hopefully get something out of it. You know, it's simple stuff like that. And then it just it rolled, the snowball. It turned into, okay, now I can afford to buy that army from this guy. And I'm going to part that army out, put these units up for this much, that unit for this much, that tank's 40 bucks, you know, that type of stuff. And it just, you know, like I said, just snowballs and snowballs and snowballs. And eventually you get to a point where you have a 1,000 listings up, you're doing 350 bucks a week minimum and you just now you can start doing a little bit of uh, stuff here i mean i have two fully painted armies they're small armies because i don't play much i hate ninth edition i hate eighth edition seventh sucked but at least it was something and it, i came from fifth so i miss fifth fifth was awesome Fifth was where a lot of my generation of players started i wasn't playing back in the 80s 90s i, I was a kid i was playing video games I wasn't really into miniatures. I played D&D &D from time to time, but it wasn't nothing big. My other big game was Magic the Gathering. However, that market is so fucked up, I don't even want to look at it. I'll, I'll sell my extra cards to my local game store, and that's about it. I'm not going to put my cards up online and then deal with shipping and top loaders and envelopes and stamps and stuff like that. It's not my thing. I'll deal with the Warhammer miniatures. They're a little easier to deal with. Just wrap them in bubble wrap, throw it in a box, send it out the door. So, seeing as many models and armies as I do, because I buy them in, I bring them through, ship them out, it's, it's hard not to keep stuff, because a lot of this stuff is really cool. Games Workshop, for better or worse, they're one of the best model companies out there. They make some of the best miniatures. Like, some of this shit's fucking awesome. And Thousand Suns just had a new drops, this new Primera stuff with Space Wolves. <laughs> I'm an OG Space Wolf player, so I, I like my Grey Hunters. I like my Blood Claws. You know, these new Primaris guys, they look fancy, and I do like the bigger scale model. It's a little easier to paint. Not that I like painting, but just, you know, from what I see, it's a little easier to paint. And you can wolf them out. You know, you can throw some wolf tail talismans. You could throw some necklaces on them. You put the wolf skulls all over them, which I did. But I don't really care about any of that stuff. The Primaris stuff was cool. I, I tried to do the Primaris stuff, but it's I'm, just, I'm selling it. It's, it's currently in my store. If this isn't a 100-year-old fucking um, video, the, the, the stuff's in my store still somewhere. I didn't even go all out. I bought custom wolf skull helmets from some 3D printer guy. and it's, you, you go all out when you love an army. You just really go fucking crazy. And you make it the way you want it. But then you start taking a look around and you realize, what the fuck did I do? I have way too much. Just way too much. <clears throat> that, that's where the eBay store helps. Because as much as I love these models, I can't keep them. They gotta go. You know, I'm not playing much and... Just taking up space, taking up money that I could do for something else. It's not my thing. You know, just, I'll wait till a better, better game system comes out, or I'll just let the models that I'm keeping just hang out. And I have magnetic boxes that the bases are got little magnets on the bottom. They're stuck to the bottom of the box. They're not moving. They're not going anywhere. So, I mean, long story short, I'm gonna keep this video under 10 minutes. Just first video, why, why go on? But you know, having the eBay store gives me this opportunity to build the army I want and get it painted the way I want. And I have a couple extra bucks on the side to pay whatever bills or whatnot. But I, I don't care to play much anymore. So what, what's the point of keeping models? It's They're, they're cool to collect, but I'm not really going to do anything with them. I'm just going to sit in the closet. Might as well pawn them off to the next guy who wants them. Just... All right. Well, thanks for listening. I'm at the nine-minute mark. I'm not going to push you too much here. Um, if you like this type of stuff, leave me some comments below. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to my channel. It's giving it a shot what the hell and check out celestial tacos ebay store if you're in the warhammer 40k man there's some great stuff up there peace out